Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. A group of criminals is sent to Mars with the objective of eliminating a plague that has spread all over the planet, cockroaches. However, after 500 years of heavy radiation, these insects have evolved and look nothing like the creatures we know. Today we will recap the story of the 2016 movie Terraformers. In the 21st century, in order to solve the problem of overpopulation on Earth, humanity has developed a plan for mass immigration to Mars. The average temperature there is about minus 136 degrees Fahrenheit, but it has been discovered that by releasing into its atmosphere the carbon dioxide reserves that are frozen underground, a kind of greenhouse effect is created, warming the surface of the planet. To further enhance this plan, humans have strategized to blacken the surface of Mars. In this way, it would absorb even more sunlight, rapidly increasing the temperature. For this purpose, mosses and other life forms capable of surviving in the harsh climatic conditions of the planet were sent there from Earth. 500 years have passed since this project began, and a scientist named Ko, together with his assistant, Sakakabara, is recruiting some people to join his exploration team. The woman reports that two suspects who were being charged for someone's death fit the profile of those to be selected for that trip. A couple, Nanao and Shokichi, run from the police after committing a crime and end up being surrounded. Upon hearing this, Ko gets out of his vehicle to recruit them minutes before the police shoot at them. The man offers an excellent reward for the couple to embark on a mission to Mars, in which they must exterminate all the cockroaches living there and thus allow humans to populate the planet. Thanks to the project that started five centuries ago, the surface of Mars was now very similar to that of Earth. However, to go there, it was necessary to undergo a surgery that has only a 30% success rate. However, according to Ko, they had a good chance of surviving the procedure. If they did not accept the mission, both of them would be sentenced to death, since they had taken the life of another person. But if they accepted to go and kill the cockroaches on Mars, their crimes would be forgiven, and they would also receive a good amount of money. To formalize that partnership, Ko asks them to sign the contract, but Shokichi refuses to participate in that project, because he does not trust that man. However, Nanao decides to accept the mission and signs the contract. Otherwise, both she and her beloved would die. In order not to let the woman go alone, Shokichi changes his mind and also signs the contract. Now both their lives were in the hands of that weird scientist. A few weeks later, the couple and the other crew members who survived the risky surgery prepare to land on Mars. The curious thing is that all of them were criminals or had some hang up on Earth, maybe that is why they accepted the mission. They would have 39 days to eliminate all the cockroaches from the planet's surface and then return home. When they land on Mars, the first thing they do is to release a capsule containing pesticide to exterminate any insects that might be near the spacecraft. Then they split up into pairs to carry out the first expedition. Kisuki Dojima, the captain of Bugs 2, sends a drone to locate the wreckage of the first ship, Bugs 1, which was sent there 10 years earlier. The curious thing is that the crew members never returned to Earth. Meanwhile, outside the ship, Maria and Jim realize that something is wrong. Despite having sprayed insecticide on that spot three hours before they left the ship, not a single cockroach was found dead. While searching for those creatures, Jim spots three gigantic monsters and they seem to be talking to each other. The man then pulls Maria behind a rock in an attempt to hide. Shokichi and Nanao were using their equipment to measure the degree of radiation on the planet when suddenly a bizarre creature appears before them. Nanao believes that this is a Martian and suggests that they try to talk to the thing. However, before the couple can approach, the monster walks towards them. Suddenly he starts to move quickly and twists the woman's neck. Shokichi becomes desperate trying to understand what has just happened. Maria and Jim arrive soon after and report that those monsters have also taken Moriki. Realizing they couldn't fight those things, they decide to return to the aircraft. Shokichi carries Nanao with him to the ship and promises to take her back to Earth. When they confront the captain, they discover that those things are the cockroaches they were sent to kill. Dojima explains that 500 years ago, when cockroaches were sent to Mars, they adapted incredibly well, even though they suffered from the strong radiation from space and lived in temperatures of negative 176 degrees Fahrenheit. These extreme conditions have led these insects to evolve in a short period of time everything they could not evolve in the hundreds of millions of years they lived on Earth. Finally, the captain informs them that the government has named those creatures terraformers. At this point, Shokichi discovers that Ko knew of the existence of those monsters and still sent the crew there. At that moment, the scientist appears in hologram form and informs them that during the surgery he had inserted insect genes into their DNAs. Now they all possessed superpowers that would allow them to crush those cockroaches. At the end of the broadcast, the captain introduces them to the insect cell activating serum and says that the effect lasts only a few minutes. When they insert that substance into their bodies, 
they mutate and acquire special abilities. Each one of them has a specific ability, based on the type of insect with which they have conducted their experiments. A few minutes after applying the serum, they will return to normal. But if they used the substance in excess, the human cell's immunity would go into shock and they would eventually die. Mina, the vice captain, reports that cockroaches are approaching the ship, so Lee, an ex-terrorist, offers to be the first to go outside and face those monsters. His plan was to destroy all the creatures around the ship, and then to find the nest and exterminate it. Outside the aircraft, Lee injects the serum into his neck and transforms himself into a giant insect. His surgery was based on the bombardier beetle, which is capable of firing jets at very high temperatures. On a human scale, this ability is equivalent to a flamethrower. After exchanging a few blows with one of those creatures, Lee prepares to release his flames. The man roasts the cockroach, but within a few seconds the thing regenerates and takes off on him. In a single blow, the Martian cockroach causes a crater in the terrorist's abdomen. Upon witnessing this massacre, the entire crew goes into despair. Suddenly, the insect starts climbing the aircraft and hits its head against the tempered glass. Everyone believes that the creature will not be able to get in, since the entire ship is reinforced to be invasion-proof, but still, the monster breaks through the glass and approaches the humans. Shokichi prepares to fight, but the captain asks the man not to use the serum yet, because his bug is the most aggressive of all. Instead, Dojima injects the substance into his own body and transforms himself into a mutant version of the green-headed ant, whose bite is the most painful among insects, capable of causing a pain similar to a gunshot. Quickly, the man defeats the invading cockroach, but soon after thousands more approach the ship. Mina tries to take off, but the system does not respond. So Dojima orders the rest of the team to go to Bugs 1 while he distracts the cockroaches. It has the same system as Bugs 2, so using part of the old ship, they could make that aircraft fly. Ichiro offers to stay and help the captain. The battle begins, and while most of the group prepares to go to the other aircraft, Dojima gets into a fight with those monsters. When one of those insects approaches Ichiro, the man runs away. After applying the serum to his neck for the first time, Tezuka is transformed into an abominable creature. With the pressure of its breath, the vehicle in which the crew members were traveling is moving at 900 km per hour. Its powers were based on the scorpion beetle. This animal is able to shoot a jet of gas to escape predators, which even allows it to walk on water. With the man's help, the team quickly approaches their target. In Bugs 2, the captain asks Ichiro to close the gates and dump all the oxygen from the ship, so the cockroaches would die of asphyxiation. While they are talking, Jim reveals to Shokichi that Nanao told him the reason they agreed to go on that trip. On the night they were recruited, the woman's stepfather assaulted her, as usual. Shokichi, her boyfriend, appeared just in time to defend her. The man takes a knife and tries to attack him, but the man kicks his arm, throwing the weapon away. While arguing with that guy, Nanao takes the knife and stabs him in the back. To prevent his girlfriend from being convicted, Shokichi takes the weapon from her hands and begins to stab the man's body, transferring the guilt for that crime to himself. Just as they were about to reach their final destination, the team is met with a tsunami of cockroaches coming towards them. They brace for the impact and make it through the barrier, but Tezuka, who was outside the vehicle, is seriously injured. Just ahead, a second one approaches. Maria as a rainbow beetle, with armor capable of camouflaging herself in any environment, and Sore, the iron beetle, has some of the toughest armor among insects. They volunteer to protect Tezuka against the next attack. Together, the women form a shield behind the man and prevent him from receiving further attacks. After crossing the barrier, the vehicle overturns and both Tezuka and the women are thrown away. Everyone inside the tank faints and the autopilot is activated. The vehicle continues on its way, leaving the trio behind. The mutant cockroaches approach them and Maria has her head chopped off. Next, the monster stomps on Sore's head and finally eliminates Tezuka, who, after all the effort he had made, was already on his last moments. Inside the ship, the oxygen level is approaching zero. While the cockroaches were still alive, the captain used what was left of his strength to exterminate them. Very soon, everyone inside would be eliminated. The few survivors of the crew finally make it to Bugs 1. Yoshikane and Toromaru decide to stand guard outside while the rest investigate the ship. Mina accesses the system and discovers that Bugs 1 sent something to Earth 10 years ago, shortly after arriving on Mars. At that moment, they hear gunshots, and as they leave the ship, they find their colleagues shot to death on the ground. Shokichi must now awaken his powers to save himself and the rest of the team. His experiment was conducted with the DNA of the Asian giant hornet, the creature responsible for causing the greatest number of accidental deaths. Unlike a bee, which stings only once, the giant wasp can sting several times until it knocks down its enemy. 
Jim Mudo, on the other hand, is based on the desert grasshopper, a migratory insect that has developed hind legs that allow it to leap, on a human scale, a nine-story building. These are the most powerful legs in the insect world. Finally, Mina's insect is the giant praying mantis. This creature is able to capture its prey with its sickle-shaped claws and then devour it. The animal can eat frogs and even lizards much larger than itself. After the transformation, the trio team up to exterminate those nasty cockroaches. At the end of the battle, they rush to remove the system from Bugs 1 and return to Bugs 2. Meanwhile, Ko communicates with one of those monsters to find out how the mission is going, and the insect says that everything is going according to plan. The insect recharges the ship's oxygen supply and points a gun at the captain. Near death, Dojima discovers that the creature is actually Moriki. Her ability is based on the jewel wasp, which has a special stinger that she uses to control cockroaches. The woman faked her own death to secretly carry out Ko's real plan. The scientist had sent the crew to Mars with the intention of taking an egg of those creatures to be studied on Earth. Ichiro also knew about the plan all this time. After shooting the captain, Moriki throws a jet of water in the man's face, who wakes up as if nothing had happened. This was possible due to the insect with which its DNA was fused. The Karanamid mosquito lives in semi-arid regions of Central Africa and has a peculiar characteristic, it never dies. In dry environments or without oxygen, this insect goes through a cryptobiosis that protects it from any external factors. Even if it is heated to 392 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes or frozen at 518 degrees below zero, it still lives in, in contact with water, resumes its normal activities. Now the duo prepares to return to Earth without their companions. What they did not suspect was that something strange was happening in the next room, where Nanao was. The woman who, theoretically, should be dead, begins to have her body wrapped in a kind of web. Also in Bugs 1, the trio of survivors are visited by a drone controlled by Ko. The man congratulates them on being able to eliminate all those cockroaches and claims that they have provided incredible battle data for the lab. Next, Ko reveals that Moriki and Ichiro were aboard Bugs 2 and on their way home. The ship was not flying before because Ichiro altered the system. He tells that on the first Mars expedition, the entire crew of Bugs 1 died, but the escape capsule they managed to send back to Earth contained a head of those cockroaches. From the research done with this terraformer's head, the fusion of human DNA with insect DNA was developed. Since then, the government has been secretly working on humanoid weapons to exterminate the terraformers. Ko claims that by obtaining an egg from those creatures, he will be able to unlock the secrets of their evolution. Before taking off, Ichiro remembers his family and the reason why he accepted that mission. The man belongs to a very poor family. His mother was ill and he alone had to find a way to support his several younger siblings. As he is very intelligent, the young man decides to work on a research project at the university so that he can then sell his findings to some laboratory that wants to patent them. This way, his family would no longer have any financial problems. However, Ichiro ends up having his research stolen by his professor and his family's future is ruined. For him at that moment, money is the only thing that matters. Moriki, on the other hand, took this job with the intention that the cockroaches would spread across the earth and she could control them. In this way, the woman could dominate the world and fulfill her ambition for power. Just then, the giant egg begins to hatch and Moriki goes there to receive the new creatures. To her surprise, instead of one, two cockroaches are born and they have a different mark on their foreheads. Moriki injects the serum into their necks and uses her special stinger to control them. The problem is that this second generation of cockroaches, descendants of those that were controlled by Moriki, have become immune to the woman's poison. Instead of being controlled, they kill Moriki. The ship takes off and those newborn insects begin to scream, calling for their family. Upon hearing the cry for help from their young, a horde of cockroaches unfurl their wings and climb into the aircraft. A few minutes later, they manage to overturn the vehicle. Ichiro is pushed close to one of those things and is about to suffer a brutal death. However, before he is struck, the man turns into the immortal mosquito and goes into cryptobiosis. Shokichi and his friends arrive on the scene and are surrounded by the cockroaches, including those newborns that have evolved. After they complete the transformation, the combat begins, and the earthlings start off with an advantage. Shokichi uses his stingers to knock out those monsters while Jim uses his powerful legs to break them in half. However, when the new mutant cockroaches enter the battle, they take quite a beating. Their movements are different and faster. It is as if they are copying the fighting style of their opponents. Mina tries to attack one of those creatures from behind, but ends up having her claw ripped out and used to cut her own neck. Seeing his friend dead, Jim injects the serum back into his neck and proceeds to the second stage of his transformation. In this new level of desert grasshopper, Jim becomes even faster and stronger, 
but still no match for the mutant cockroaches. Shokichi also injects himself with another dose of the serum in order to help his friend. Together they manage to eliminate dozens of those pests. However, Jim continues to apply the serum to his body, which would do irreversible damage to him. Now equipped with wings, the man fights the cockroaches in mid-flight and manages to eliminate them all. However, he is weak and begins to suffer from the side effects of the drug. After being hit with a stone club, Jim is knocked out. While Shokichi is fighting other creatures, the man stands up and applies several more doses of the serum to himself. His appearance becomes grotesque and he is visibly weak, but before he loses all his strength, Jim manages to eliminate one of the new mutant cockroaches. Now he is completely defenseless and Shokichi must protect him from the attacks of his enemies. At this point, Jim confesses that he purposely used excessive doses of the serum with the intention of ending his life. According to the young man, he has no reason to return to Earth because all the people he loved were already dead. Overcome with hatred, Shokichi attacks the mutant cockroach that was still alive and has its stings ripped out. Just when the battle seemed to be lost, a white, angel-like insect begins to fly over the scene, spreading a snow-like dust. All the creatures stand motionless trying to understand what it is. Then Shokichi realizes that this is Nanao's insect, a silkworm. Jim suspects that this was a plan by the woman L to eliminate these creatures, since the dust released by the moth's wing is highly inflammable. Upon discovering that Nanao plans to blow herself up, Shokichi tries to stop her. He flies towards her, but the mutant cockroach grabs a gun and shoots upwards, causing a huge explosion. Shokichi would also be hit, but Jim gathers the rest of his strength to fly there and save his friend. As he looks down, he can see his beloved being engulfed in flames. When they return to the ground, Shokichi says goodbye to Jim as there is no chance of salvation for the man. As his last request, Jim asks Shokichi to survive and return home safely. After all, Nanao sacrificed herself to save him. With the impact of the explosion, a glass of water falls on Ichiro's face and the man wakes up, but along with him is a cockroach that survived the explosion. Remembering his family, Ichiro takes courage and manages to kill it. Outside the ship, Shokichi realizes that some cockroaches are still alive. One of them approaches, and without even transforming, the man manages to knock it down. Shokichi has the opportunity to kill the creature, but decides to leave it there. When he enters the aircraft, he encounters Ichiro and wishes to kill him because, from the beginning, he was a traitor. However, Shokichi is saved by the man, who shoots a monster that was about to attack him. Then they decide to use the escape pod and return to Earth together. But before he leaves, Ichiro releases the recordings of the Bugs 2 mission to the whole world. Now, the Japanese government's secret project has been revealed. Like a good loser, Ko admits his defeat and informs Sakakabara that he will sell the operation data to some international company that is interested in continuing the project and will disappear from the map. What he did not expect was that his assistant was actually a government agent sent to monitor him. Sakakabara points a gun at the man and tells him that since the mission was revealed to the whole world, the Japanese government would absolve itself of blame by saying that Ko was solely responsible for that voyage of exploration and decided to take his own life when his plans went wrong. However, like a good scientist, Ko always has a card up his sleeve. He has a barrier around him that protects him from attack. As revenge, the man rips the brooch off his jacket and launches the robotic spider in the direction of his assistant. The creature then releases a toxic gas containing the wasp's venom which, when inhaled, causes the woman's immediate death. Inside the capsule, Shokichi and Ichiro talk about their plans for when they arrive on Earth. Ichiro intends to use his knowledge to become a successful man. Shokichi has only one ambition, to make a grave for Nanao and all his colleagues who were killed on Mars. Then he intends to return to that planet. So, what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like it and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.